So we have 36,824 minus 7,846. So the first step to solving these kinds of problems is to write out the question in a format where we can solve it. So let's do that now. So 3, 6, 8, 2, 4, minus, and then I always write uh, the second number back to front, um, starting over on the right-hand column, so that's the units. And that way, even though it's a little bit awkward, I make sure that I keep all the digits in the correct place value. Okay, so now I've set it up, and, I've, and I can solve it. And you'll notice that when I write them out, I give myself a little bit of space, just so that my working can be nice and clear and I don't get confused. Okay, so here we go. Let's try and solve this kind of a problem. You'll notice straight away that 4 minus 6 is our first question. Now, I've got a problem there because you can't take 6 away from 4. So what I've got to do is I've got to borrow from this column. So I subtract 1 from the 2, and I put it here. Now, because I've taken 1 from the 2, the 2 is not a 2 anymore. It becomes a 1. Okay, so that's that little step. And now I can go back to asking that original question and deal with the units column again. Now it's not 4 minus 6, it's 14 minus 6, and that's 8. So, first step, completely done. Let's move over 1. It's now 1 minus 4. So again, we have the same, same kind of problem in that we can't take 4 from 1. So again, the solution to that is to go over to the next column and borrow 1 from there. We're not actually going to borrow it, we're going to take it from there. So that's not 8, we're going to take 1 from it, so that becomes a 7, and the 1 we borrowed goes in front of that number. Now it's not 1, it's 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 minus 8, again, we have the same kind of problem. I have to borrow. So I go to the next column along, take 1 away from the 6, put it in front of the 7. It's not 6 anymore, I just took 1 from it, so it's a 5. So 17 minus 8, that is 9. Now I can do the next column, 5 minus 7, again I can't do that. So I borrow from the 3, so and borrow 1 from the 3, which goes in front of the 5. And if I've taken 1 away from the 3, the 3 becomes a 2. So 15 minus 7 is 8. And 2 minus 0 is 2. So the answer I end up with is 28,978. Does that make a bit of sense? Because the original question is 36,824. So that's about 37,000. And I'm going to minus about, I'll round that off to 8,000. Um, 37,000 minus 8,000, about 29,000. So this must be close because that's nearly 29,000. But I can go one step further and I can check all by myself to see if I'm correct. So the way to do that is to take your answer first and start with that. So 28, 9, 7, 8. Okay. To check a subtraction equation, we do the opposite operation. So the opposite of subtracting is to add. So, and all I'm going to do is choose one of these numbers here to add to my answer. So I'm just going to take this bottom one, so 7,846. You could choose the other one, um, but I'm going to choose this one. So what is it? So go backwards again, 4, 8, 7, and add them up. So 8 plus 6 is 14, carry the 1. Uh, 1 plus 7 plus 4 is 12, put the 2 there, carry the 1. So 1 plus 9 plus 8 is 18. Put the 8 there, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 7 is 16. Put the 6 here, carry the 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, so I look at that answer. Is that answer that I just got the same as the other number in the original question? And it is. 36,824 and here 36,824. I use that number here and I use that number here. So the same numbers appear in both equations. Therefore... This has to be correct.